Hello. Today, let us talk about one important tool in system dynamics, which is the causal loop diagram. Okay. We know that the primary elements of system dynamics are feedback, represented by this blue arrow, with positive or negative polar polarity, and we have the accumulation of flows into stocks, in which how many flows are going into a certain element, which we can call it as the stock, and the time delays in which how long would it take for a certain element to influence another element. Say, for example, this growing trees, how long does it take for it to become mature and for us to harvest them? So causal loop diagram is a simple map of the system with all its constituent components and their interactions. Say, for example, this is a simple map. Okay? Through causal loop diagram, it helps us identify a common archetype or a common structure of a system. And with this, we would know that the variables or the elements has an influence or an interaction okay, between them between the elements or among those elements. So the components of a causal loop diagram, we have the variables, okay? These are the elements in a situation which may act or be acted upon. They can go up and down, okay? And they are nouns or noun phrases. And they can be measurable. Links and arrows show the relationship and the direction of influence between variables. They're represented by this link or arrows. And we have the S and O's or the positive and negative, which shows the way one variable moves or changes in relation to another. Okay. If birth influences population, if this um, leads to an increase, so we would indicate this with a positive polarity. And if death influences population, that leads to decreasing population will indicate that one with a negative polarity. Okay. We also have this R and B, which R stands for reinforcing feedback, in which that loop amplifies change, meaning a change in one variable could lead to a change in another variable. And we have this B, balancing feedback loop, which means that there is um, an equilibrium if one variable changes, okay? If one increases, the other will decrease. So that is for a balancing feedback loop. For this example, okay, we know that um, if more students are involved, okay, there will be more student population. So there is a positive polarity. Now, if more students will graduate, will lead to a decrease in population. Now, let us introduce um, some feedback to the model. Okay. We know that student enrollment leads to a positive causal link to student population. Then, if there are more students today, okay, more of them will enroll in the future. Okay, since they both go in the same direction and both are positive, that is a reinforcing loop represented by symbol R. Now, if more students will graduate, okay, it will lead to a decrease in population. And if there are more student population today, more students will graduate in the future. Okay, that is indicated by a positive polarity and positive negative polarities means there is a balancing feedback loop. Okay? So feedbacks are very important in having a causal loop diagram. So feedbacks are closed loop circle of cause and effect. They occur when changes generate effects then then influence the original causes of the change. Feedback loops help us to understand which elements have high and low impacts in the system. Okay? So for this uh, for example, this one is the reinforcing loop or the positive feedback loop, and this one is the negative feedback loop 
or the balancing loop. Okay. For the reinforcing loop, it means that one variable would reinforce, okay, will be reinforced in the future. So meaning if there are more enrollment today, okay, it will lead to more enrollment in the future, which will lead to more student population. For balancing loop, okay, if there are more students that will graduate, it will lead to the decrease in population. That is for the balancing feedback. So for this example, notice that there are these two delays, okay? Delay symbols or that one are the harsh hash marks, okay? On our causal link. So Delay is a situation where it takes time before an effect comes out. Say, for example, um, we know that student enrollment will lead to more student population. And it would take a semester or a year for the student to enroll again. Meaning, um, we cannot have that influence right away. It is important to indicate delay so that um, when one looks at the model, they could um, identify that, oh, that relationship does not happen right away, okay? So for this, student graduation, it takes time for students to graduate. It, take, would, it would take four to five years before students will graduate. So it is very important that when we model, okay, when we make a causal diagram, we should not forget this, um, the lazy faults. So we have another example here. Say for example, um, when a consumer adopt a hot new smartphone, may it be an iPhone, okay? More potential consumers will encounter it, okay? And will likely to buy for themselves, strengthening the word of mouth, so there is a positive polarity. And if there are more smartphones sold, okay, it, it leads to more advertisement from the word of mouth. So it has this um, reinforcing loop. Now, if more um, if more cell phones, or, or I mean more smartphones will be sold in the market, okay, this will lead to a decrease in um, demand because more smartphones are now being in the market. So supply gets high. Okay, if there are more sm smartphones sold, okay, market saturation will um, become positive. So more people will buy. Okay? More people have smartphones now. And of course, since they have smartphones already, smartphones will decrease. Okay. Demand will now decrease. So this is a simple example of the supply and demand which can be applied in any market. So that's represented by a balancing loop. So um, in causal loop diagram, it's not only that there are two or three variables. It could be more. Okay, It could be um, 10 or more variables as long as you could identify the loop of that system, okay? If there are two or more variables, maybe three or more, you will just um, multiply the symbols, okay? If you get a negative, that would become a balancing loop and positive for reinforcing loop. So in order for us to have a more clear causal loop diagram, it's very easy for us to draw a causal loop diagram, there is an available software in the internet, okay, which is um, Vensim software, which we can download free online. And on my next video, I will have a tutorial on how to make causal loop diagram using the Vensim software. So that will be all for today. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you.